always chatting to David Ike again, and uh, thank you very much for your time today, David. No it problem. Was great to see you in Zero. I want to find out your opinion about uh, Barack Obama, and I was under the impression perhaps that he won the Nobel Peace Prize because he's going to be the disclosure president, and uh, disclose um, ET sort of uh, presence on Earth or off-world, and our contact with them. What do you think about this? I think Barack Obama will reveal whatever the people controlling Barack Obama tell him to reveal. Um, you know, we, we look at presidents uh, uh, and we think that they're the people in power and they're making the decisions. They're just the, the interface between uh, the power system and the public. That's all they are. Um, so uh, Obama's been brought through uh, over many, many years to be the president at this time. Um, they've chosen him for for a reason to to be here now, and and one of the main uh, parts of that, I think, is that he's a salesman, and they have to sell now major changes in the world. Um, and if you've got someone who's as obviously uh, corrupt, who's obviously a, a, a warmonger like a like a Cheney or a Bush. Um, they can cause the problems uh, to which you can then offer your solutions, which is what the Bush era did with all the, you know, overseas wars, the extending of the American military, the financial crash in the last months of, of his presidency. They can create you problems, but they're not really salesmen, well, certainly not salesmen, who, who can sell the solutions, which is the changes in society uh, that uh, they want. Uh, so, you know, if you want to sell a tyranny to the public, then you don't want someone who's obviously tyrannical. You want someone with a smiling face and who seems a nice man and all this. There's, these are the people that you want to sell your tyranny. Um, and I, I look upon Obama as like a used car salesman. Uh, I mean, he is so uh, not in control of what uh, he is doing and, and saying that virtually every word he speaks in public is, is on a teleprompter screens. That's why he keeps looking left and right all the time. He's reading it off a screen. Now, it's not coming from the heart. It's not um, written by him. He's basically a newsreader. He's an actor. Um, and, uh, you know, when you've got people like Ronald Reagan, a B-movie actor as president, it really sums up the post. They're actors. They're, they're there to um, bring into the public arena in changes in legislation or actions like declaring wars what has been decided um, in the background and, and they're just there to, um, to, to make it happen. They're not deciding anything. Uh, and so in terms of this, this disclosure stuff, um, uh, Obama will, will, will do whatever he's told to do. I do feel, though, that for many, many reasons, not least researchers, not least insiders who are now speaking out a bit more about this, um, that we are coming to a point where the world is going to have to recognize that there is a, a massive uh, non-human extraterrestrial uh, presence uh, around this planet, in this planet, um, and that behind the, uh, the ruling human bloodlines and behind the, the human structure is actually a non-human force that's orchestrating all this. You know, when I first um, started talking and writing about this uh, 15 years ago or more, um, I went on what was not anything like such a massive, sophisticated internet in those days, but I went on and I put various key words in about reptilian extraterrestrials and all that stuff handful of pages came up. You put those words in today, tens of thousands of, of uh, pages come up. And, and we are moving to this point. I mean, I've been uh, almost taken aback uh, on this speaking tour that I've been on, uh, which I've just completed in 2009 anyway. And I, I went to uh, Washington State, uh, to Arizona, to Santa Fe, to Amsterdam, to Sweden, to, to Zurich, where we are now. And, and I've just been not, well, you know, uh, there's this extraterrestrial thing, but I, I won't talk about it because, you know, 
people might think it's crazy. And I've just gone for it. Listen, re reptilian entities operating just outside of visible light, the frequency range that we can see, are manipulating this world. I mean, you've seen it. I've gone for it. And what's been the reaction of the people? It's, it's not been what it would have been a few years ago, which is, what? The guy's bloody mad. P people are now encompassing this. And I keep meeting uh, more people who um, have had uh, access to the inside who, who are now coming out saying, yeah, they, they, they exist. This is what's happening. So we are reaching this point now where all this is going to explode in the public arena. Um, and uh, it may well be that, um, you know, it will have to be acknowledged uh, officially at some point, but they won't want to do that until it's absolutely necessary because it's this uh, non-human control system that is behind the control system that is behind the Obamas and the, and the Bushes and the, uh, the uh, apparent human leaders. I'm very interested to, to find out how they think that the public is that stupid that they can pull off giving Barack Obama a peace prize legitimately. Well, I, I think they've reached the point where uh, they don't care, frankly. Um, I mean, when they can give the Nobel Peace Prize to Henry Kissinger, who's wanted for war crimes in a number of countries, uh, they can give it to um, Al Gore for lying about global warming. Uh, they, they, it's lost all credibility. And, you know, I think the Nobel Peace Prize is summed up by the fact that it's named after Alfred Nobel, who made his fortune inventing um, explosives and selling weapons. Uh, is that right? <laughs> that's right, yeah. Uh, that's that was the irony, oh. uh, and 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 so giving it to warmongers, um, and giving it to um, people like Obama, whose first uh, decision in office was to uh, agree to uh, bombing bombing Pakistan, uh, I think is um, is very appropriate given the background of where the price came from.